Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video lecture, we are going to talk about lysosomes. Lysosome structure and function. What is lysosome? Lysosome is a very important organelle and uh, I know many people who don't understand lysosome very well. People confuse between the enzymes in lysosome and peroxisome and also talk about what's the difference between lysosome and peroxisome. So if you want to know something unique, something new about lysosome, then this video is just for you. Watch the lysosome structure and function. So without further delay, let's take a color and let's start talking about lysosome. And I'll open uh, this discussion about one simple idea. What is the fundamental difference between lysosome and peroxisome? We'll discuss about peroxisome later on. But see, lysosome and peroxisome both are enzyme filled structures and uh, we can call lysosome organelles obviously. But the enzyme that they carry are the different difference primary difference between the two lysosomes carry mostly hydrolytic enzymes where uh, so peroxisomes carry more of oxidase kind of enzymes that's the difference primary difference between the two so what are the general properties of a lysosome you can see that this is a kind of anatomy of lysosomal structure it's very hard to uh, get an uh, idea about but let me talk about the very general properties they are spherical organelle that contain enzymes of acid hydrolases okay so basically hydrolytic enzymes filled sacs. They break up food so it's easier to digest for the cell. They are found in animal cells while yeast and plants they have some same roles performing by lytic vacuoles. Okay? So basically plants have vacuoles do the similar functions like lysosome. Prokaryotes do not uh, have lysosomes but some hydrolases have been located outside of the cell for the prokaryotes and lysosome found in higher animals only. Now let's move to the structure of lysosome. This is what the lysosome looks like. So lysosome cannot be uh, cannot be visualized or cannot be thought of, you know, outside the endomembrane system. The endomembrane system goes like endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi bodies or Golgi complex that includes cis Golgi network, medial Golgi, Golgi network, trans Golgi network, and from the trans Golgi network at the end side we have lysosome. So basically, this is the Golgi apparatus. You can see from there there is primary lysosome forming and bulging out as a vesicle from the Golgi apparatus and this primary lysosomes uh, fuse with other components and become secondary lysosomes here. So we cannot just say lysosome as it is. Lysosome formation requires the groundwork placed by the Golgi apparatus and further groundwork placed by the uh, ER and we call them endomembrane system like that. So lysosomes have globular range and diameter of 2.2 to 2.8 microns. Under the electron microscope they appear dense and finally granular lysosome is a essentially a sphere of lipoprotein membrane containing enzymes so basically a membrane which is lipoprotein and that membrane contain vesicle a vesicle contains enzymes inside the membrane insulates the enzyme from the rest of the cell okay obviously the membrane uh, the membrane is filled with all this hydrolytic enzymes and it insulates it if the membrane is, uh, membrane is cleaved or degraded or digested all the components will come outside and can kill the cell. That's why lysosome is also known as, as a suicide bag for the cell because they have an array of different uh, hydrolytic enzymes. They have proteases, they have li li lipases. So it can degrade protein, lipid, nucleic acid, everything inside a cell. Lysosomal membrane are uh, like bound by a single lipoprotein membrane. So you can ask always whenever you are learning any organelle structure, always ask yourself whether it's single membrane bound or two membrane bound. Lysosome, single membrane bound. The membrane is impermeable to substrates of the enzymes. So basically, the enzymes that they carry, the membrane is impermeable to that. So that's why the, the, the hydrolytic enzymes generally don't come out and spill out of it. Certain substances called labilizers, or labilizers cause the integrity of the lysosomal membrane. Okay, uh, What we can say, instability to the lysosomal membrane as a result of which leading to the release of enzymes from the lysosome. So generally the membrane is impermeable to all those hydrolytic enzymes but labilizers are the example of components that can destabilize uh, the lysosomal membrane and as they destabilize the lysosomal membrane it can destroy the membrane and the uh, hydrolytic enzymes can spill out that can destroy the cell and the cell may die which is also known as a part of uh, you know autophagy system or killing itself. Let's talk about the lysosomal enzymes because lysosome is nothing but an enzyme filled sac. So we need to understand the enzymes that the lysosome carries. Lysosome contains uh, this type of enzymes. One, nucleases. 
which include ribonuclease and deoxyribonuclease break down polynucleotides uh, okay into the nitrogenous bases phosphate pentose sugars and all phosphatases acid phosphate that breaks down phosphate esters into monophosphates it has lipases that can break down lipids into smaller fatty acids proteases that can break down protein into amino acids glycosidases beta glycosidases beta glucuronidase alpha manosidase they break down polysaccharides into monosaccharides sulfatases sulfatases act on sulfate esters breaking down into smaller fragments so apart from the you know, nuclease lipase protease glycosidase uh, glycosidases they have this phosphatases and sulfatases as well phosphatases break down phosphate esters sulfatases break down sulfate esters now lysosomes have polymorphism and this is very this is the most important part that you need to actually understand about a, about uh, lysosome basically okay why i said that polymorphism of lysosome is very important because lysosome is not a unified single structure it has modifications and it has different names when they modify itself in different uh, places so polymorphism in different cell types and even within a single cell type previously we generally call uh, three types of we generally talk about three types of lysosomes two types of primary lysosome and secondary lysosome previously we say the primary lysosome where the lysosome formed initially and once they mature via the process of cell uh, you know endomembrane system we call them secondary uh, lysosome but now we have three names for lysosome in different chronology of their development phagosomes residual bodies autophagic vacuoles so we say primary lysosome is formed from endoplasmic reticulum and golgi complex so either from er or from golgi the enzymes of the primary lysosome are synthesized by ribosomes it can secrete its enzyme outside the cell or it can store it down so that is the function of primary lysosome see uh, this is primary lysosome uh, here it's it's shown primary lysosome from golgi apparatus see or er directly the vesicles formed and the enzyme that are present here are made from the made by the ribosomes and they stored there this is primary lysosome it can store the component or it can secrete it out of the cell both can be done by primary lysosome that is done apart from that phagosome is formed by phagocytosis or pinocytosis so here let's say a bacteria which is engulfed by the cell vesicle start forming this is called as a phagosome now the phagosome is something Uh, what is uh, this is a primary lysosome undergoes fusion so primary ly lysosome can also undergo fusion with this vesicle and that will become secondary lysosome got it primary lysosome which is there already with hydrolytic enzyme secreted i mean produced from er or golgi phagosome is formed by phagocytosis or pinocytosis both the vesicles fuse it will become secondary lysosome become secondary lysosome and then the secondary lysosomes start digesting the component which is engulfed right whether it can be lipid it can be nucleic acid it can be uh, protein it start digesting it so while it start digesting it okay and after the digestion is done the digestion is done here all the components are degraded to its bare essentials that time the vesicle is known as residual bodies so residual body is the final particle containing indigestible material so digestion is complete and the component which are present cannot be further digested like the bare minimum like uh, amino acid for the proteins monosaccharide for the sugars okay so once that it is known as residual bodies okay and lastly the autophagic vacuole or autophagosome is a hydro is a lysosome containing some parts of the cell in the process of digestion so basically this is the normal idea primary lysosome secondary lysosome residual body phagocytic vacuole but what happens is that sometimes once this lysosomal membrane gets destabilized start releasing component to the cell and also whenever we found that not only lysosome can just crack open to kill the cell because if a lysosome is crack open it will degrade the cell destroy the cell the cell will die but sometimes we found that lysosome not only killing the whole cell but some of the cellular components organelles and different components of cell can be found in cerebral lysosome those kind of lysosome which is found to have found to contain some part of the cell in the process of digestion are known as autophagic vacuole or autophagosome and this autophagosome has the capability to kill the whole cell once release 
the enzymes outside into the cytosol. What are the functions of lysosome? Essentially a bag containing digestive enzymes. The enzymes may be released within the cell itself or outside the cell. Generally outside of the cell or inside the, if, if you want to kill the cell, inside of the cell. Lysosome serves several functions, extracellular digestion, we know that intracellular digestion, hormone secretion and fertilization, autolysis, chromosomal breaks. These are six, seven different functions. Mainly digestion and the enzymes as I mentioned, extracellular digestion, intracellular digestion, both are equally important. Hormone secretion is also important. So, extracellular digestion, generally what happens is that sometimes the cell need to get rid of, the cell need to get rid of the extracellular matrix. Okay. So, digestion of extracellular matrix is a two-way process. Both extracellular and intracellular digestion are equally important there, right? The primary lysosome secrete hydrolysis into the extracellular matrix by exocytosis, resulting in the dissolving of the extracellular matrix proteins and carbohydrate structures. Okay. The incomplete products of digestion are absorbed into the cell by endocytosis and then digestion will be done inside the cell. So basically the digestion of extracellular matrix two step process. The very first step you can say the step number one the lysosomes that are present they start to fuse with the membrane release all the components and that kind of destroys the extracellular matrix structures. This is very common in case of bone, bone erosion. This is the reason of how, this is how the bone erosion takes place with age, with time. The lysosomes start releasing components. So they start degrading these components. Now, once they start degrading all this protein and carbohydrate structures, then the debris are taken back by the cell and they form lysosome inside and they fuse with the lysosome forms the uh, endocytic vacuole, so endocytic vesicle. The endocytic vesicle will now what will do? Incomplete digestions are absorbed into the cell by endocytosis and then they will uh, modify, then they break them down further and they release it out. So that is the extracellular digestion is this one when they secrete components outside and degrade extracellular matrix proteins. What is intracellular digestion? Intracellular digestion may involve autophagy and heterophagy. What is autophagy? Intracellular digestion which enzymes produced by the cell is released inside the cell and kill itself. That is autophagy. Auto means self. Phagy means digesting or eating. So it's eating itself. Heterophagy, intake of exogenous materials inside of the cell and the subsequent breakdown of this material by the enzyme and release it out. That's the difference between autophagy and heterophagy. The heterophagy can be phagocytosis or pinocytosis, where the heterophagy means the, the cell is actually using heterophagy to get food. Okay? Phagocytosis and pinocytosis. Phagocytosis is a kind of heterophagy where the cell is eating large big chunk of food, let's say bacteria or any other large big chunk of food. And pinocytosis when it's taking out liquids. Phagocytosis is taking out solids. Both are heterophagy. Autophagy is when inside of the lysosome, lysosome releases all the enzyme, destroys itself, kills itself, autophagy. And they use autophagosome for the autophagy. Now what are the hormonal secretion role? You may not know that, but there are evidence that lysosomal hydrolases are involved in the secretory activity of some hormones. And not some, these hormones are T3, T4 hormones that can be secreted. Secretion of T3, T4 into the blood capillary. And this is something that is unique. This is something I believe new to you. Okay? You can see that in this kind of cell, in, the, in this uh, hormone secretion model, thyroglobulin is the signaling molecule. Upon binding of thyroglobulin, thyroglobulin is internalized or endocytosis of thyroglobulin is done. And if thyroglobulin molecule is endocytosed, then this thyroglobulin with the vesicle fuses with lysosome here. You can see. Fusion is there. After fusion, so this is the primary lysosome fused with the thyroglobin engulfed vesicles. Both vesicles are fused and that triggers the release of T3 and T4 hormone into the blood capillary. Okay. So it's actually a regulative mode of secretion 
of thyroid like T3 and T4 hormones. Now what is the role of lysosome in fertilization in acrosomal process or acrosomal reaction? Acrosome which is a giant lysosome structure you can see this is this portion is known as acrosome this portion acrosomal process where a giant lysosome is present this is actin filament and a giant lysosome here is the pink color and this giant lysosome filled with tremendous amount of enzymes gets released and why it is important because this is where the egg is present this is sperm acrosome is present on the front side of the sperm so you can see that this is the tail of the sperm the body and in the body you have nucleus of the sperm this is nucleus this is nucleus this one and this is actin and actin filament assembles itself in such a way that acrosome is properly placed and the acrosomal reaction is the term that we use where the lysosome fuses with the membrane and the enzymes are released so it's extracellular digestion will be done and uh, it, it digests all the coatings outside coatings of a egg okay outside coating of an egg there are jelly coat and other kind of structures they are degraded by this acrosomal enzymes and as a result of which the sperm pronucleus can be internalized inside the egg okay that's very very important that's the early stage very primary stages of sperm and egg fusion and for that acrosomal reaction is very important and acrosomal reaction is carried out by the large giant single uh, lysosome that is present in the acrosomal process and autolysis autolysis refer to digestion of own cells by lysosome we have talked about it multiple times and autolysis is there present there during the amphibian metamorphosis and insect metamorphosis where the different body structures and parts are destroyed and degraded and there are different methods of doing that there are apoptotic methods and there are autolysis methods both kind of methods are equally important and involved in the process of metamorphosis okay so that concludes our understanding of lysosome and lysosome structure and lysosome function I believe you got a clear idea about lysosome structure and function. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.